my question <laughs> is, where is Ashley Williams? We had a little bit of a back and forth yeah. going on for a few weeks and that. What happened? I don't know. He was all for Arsenal this weekend in the group, wasn't yeah. he? But I didn't even know he supported Arsenal. I thought he was a Swansea fan. Is he an Arsenal? Or a Stockport fan. Them. The reason why I ask <laughs> is because there was a rumour that you've got a show coming out with him. We do have a show coming out of him. It's called, this is getting no more episodes than one because we're getting well cancelled. Yeah, it, it took so over it's the a WhatsApp working group. Title. It, took, it took over the WhatsApp group. <laughs> Madness. <laughs> oh, call him, call him. Ask him what his pre-match meal is. You would play against him? No, I'm not that old. Hi, mate. What's your yeah. pre-match meal? I'm just here with Ash. Hi, mate. I think you got the wrong number, ain't you? Uh, I don't think so. When you answer. <laughs> get in the comments and tell us what to ask people. Yeah, get in the comments, let us know what you want to ask. Let us know what we should be asking. This show's a shambles. They can never do it like I. When you see man pull up and slide. Man stepped in a room with legends, Rio and Steve. You know it's a vibe. Check the podcast, what you want to know? Don't ask me, go and ask Joe. If you're talking Premier League, he's on the front line and I gotta go. Oh. It's a vibe with five, vibe with five, and you already know what it is. It's a vibe with five, vibe with five, and you already know what it is. Vibe with five, vibe with five, and you already know what it is. It's a vibe with five, vibe with five, and you already know this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this week's episode of Vibe with Five. You got Why are you so happy? Wait, can, can I finish? You got it, myself, Joel Bear, 16 points ahead of Manchester United, Stephen Housen. I'm not going back. Rio Ferdinand. Guys, it's been an eventful weekend. Let's start off with the exciting Manchester United 0 0 draw with Southampton. <laughs> Casemiro could have killed somebody. He could have killed him. I've been waiting for this episode, man. I really have. Talk to me, Rio, man. You got Southampton. You get slapped up by Liverpool the week before. You beat Betis. Oh, yeah, it's a great comeback. Southampton, who are two points above relegation zone like what, what's going on bro why are you not beating these teams yeah the red card was a problem oh it, it really was yeah. was it yeah yeah any team that goes down to 10 men it becomes a big problem so that Who, whose fault is that though Casemiro's okay yeah whose fault is that I don't like your energy today whose yeah. fault is it it was Casemiro. Okay, it's, cool. it's a red card. Just checking. The Just thing checking. Is, a lot of people have got the knickers in a twist because there was a couple of challenges in the last week or so. Oh my it's God. been identical. And, and nothing. Ericsson. And that one. Yeah, nothing. Like terrible tackles. For they, me, it's a red card, but all so of those should have been punished yeah. as well. Do you know what? Can I just say something? Man United have got a trophy in the bag this season and we're going to finish in the Champions League spot. I'm satisfied. Simple as that. I am. Because if you'd have if you'd given me that bit, the day the season kicked off... I'd have bit your hand off for it. We're not going to sit that's, here. We're, we're not, talking realistically here. We're not going to sit here and act as if it's not been a, a, a good start for Ten Hag. Because it has. I can tell you that. But do you not think, like Arsenal, when the season goes, your expectations change a little bit? Well, Man United's now, expectations now, are not to win the league. No, it's not that. But it when you're playing mundane games against Southampton... With 10 men. It's not really that with ten men. That's not my fault. No, but with Kism 10 men. Casemiro should be adapting to the league, right? No, but you've got to adapt to the circumstances. If, if he was 11 men and we drew nil-nil, I'd be going, oh my God, what's going on here? This has been a, 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 quite a bad week. But gone down to 10 men, we've not lost. Last season, and the season's gone by, we'd have gone down to 10 men at home to Southampton, regardless of where they are in the league, we lose the game. So let's focus on 10 oh, Let's okay, focus oh, on the game okay. first. Let's focus That's on the game you first. Up. Man United's play in general. Go on. I thought it was all right. I thought we're lacking a little bit of penetration. I don't think Anthony looks at the races and I think him and Sancho are uh, much of a muchness. It was so much brighter when Garnacho and Palestri came on. Hmm. I hope that they're getting the opportunity to, to get involved in the 11v11s in training as first choice with the first team to put a bit of pressure on them because there was a few times that we counted and Anthony was kind of just like tapping it forward rather than boshing it and getting after it. And you just think... You've got to be a little bit more dynamic than that. The transitions in the Premier League are, are so much quicker, especially with Southampton. That is one thing that they yeah, are. What did you make of Southampton? Um, Can they get out of it? No. I think they're going down. If they get out of it, it's, it's Ward Prowse. He's, if, if, He's I, I said this man. yesterday. United should go and get him because he does a job for us right now. He had said this like a year ago, and I used to think he was absolutely crazy. I told you he should have played in the Euros over who we did play. Don't worry about that, Gareth Southgate. 
I think everyone looks decent when they play United. I think Leeds were looking pretty decent when they played against you guys. But then besides that, you just think, nah, don't know. So I think they're going down. But I look at United and I think Anthony, he needs to be mentioned, man. Yes, you've got to give him the season to, to bed in, but Garnacho should be playing there. I think Ten Hag plays him there because... Otherwise, we question well, his Gan- Ganacho's million. off the left. Yeah, you, you, he's probably getting a little bit of leeway because he costs so much and he's like Ten Hag's record sign at the club. So that's always going to buy you a little bit of time as he's knowing him coming from the other league. Mm-hmm. But his performances at the moment, despite scoring some big goals, which you know people are glossing over a little bit, he has scored some big goals. Mm-hmm. But the overall performance is not up to the stamp. Great. I, I think Anthony, if he looks at his game, would sit there and go... If he had a, a crystal ball before the season started and then looked at where he is now, he'd probably go, I'm not where I want to be. I'm not doing what I thought I would be doing right now. Yeah, he scored a couple of important goals here and there, but I think if he was honest with himself, he'd go, there's more to come from me. And uh, we have to be patient as a fan base with that. Not everyone hits the ground running. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. How, many, how many players sign and you go, well, after the first year, I thought he was, we just get rid of him. And all of a sudden, we had Patrice everywhere last week. First six months at May United could have been shipped out and sold and no one would have remembered him. No and, one would have missed him. And Vidic all of a sudden become legends, but given time. So I, I hope that Anthony's going to fall into that category. I think everyone deserves time. I really <clears> do. I feel like it's, not, it's, it's a little bit different with him because I look at certain aspects of his game and I just don't know if he's going to be able to, in full windows time, when Ten Hag's like evolved the team even more, when Garnacho has gone better, your kid Palestri, bro. He looks like an Rapid. absolute problem. Yeah, Rapid. he's coming off the bench though, isn't he? Against he is, tired but, but what I'm saying, but this is what I'm saying. That. In four or five windows, right, Anthony could find himself struggling to stay above water, bro. Because I don't know if he's got the attributes Maybe, but let's look that the too others soon, have. Hey, because we've still got your other documentary saying you wanted Arteta gone. So yeah, let's yeah, give it a yeah. look. Let's not get too are far we, ahead we, of ourselves. We're going to bring that out every week. Jesus. Like, um, every week. Twice a month. Yeah? Um, okay. I liked... Bruno in the, in the deeper role. Yeah, same. <clears throat> and I think we would have seen something productive from that if we'd have... I like Bruno in the deeper role, but I still think Vegost isn't offering us enough of a threat going forward. I like his build-up play. I like what he does off the ball, but I think he's just not quite the required... He's player. overrated in the build-up play, by the way, because everyone talks about how he holds up the ball, and I don't think he holds up the ball that well. I, I don't I think, think he's, he's as good. I think it's a scapegoat when you guys say it because he's a good guy and it's he's not, obviously he's, he's holding great, plays good. His link up plays good. It's not great, Mate, Steve. He's lay, he's it's the way he lays great. balls off for people. Nah, yeah. but he struggles for a big man. I've seen it. The ball bounces. No, off no, no. Him. He looks he looks uncompromising. He looks awkward. The can way you, he's, can he's you style. Lay, lay, so he's, lay his style. Terms. His style of play. You wouldn't go. Oh, what losing the losing the ball? That's easy on the eye. If you look at his actual link up plan, bringing people in, we need he stats. brings people in. Because I've seen the ball come off him bounce too many well, times. I am, and I but go, I've seen him actually bring people in as well. I think it, he's, he's done it better than what we've had at the club recently in, the, in that role. But as I was saying, who else was doing I that? Just, just so we can, can so there's a fair judgment. Before you jump in, who else? So you've got Vegas not, not quite offering the threat going forward, but. You had Sancho and Anthony, both with like 96, 97% pass completion. I don't want that from a creative mm. players. That's, that tells me they're playing too safe. Safe, safe. Uh, uh, that's, that's the one part of Anthony and Sancho's game I think needs to improve is the risk. You don't get nothing in this game without taking risks. You don't win trophies without taking risks. You don't have success without taking risks. That's Alex Ferguson used to always say to us, don't want safe. When you, I've bought you to be able to take risks and do something that's going to be a bit different. It's going to win us a game in a moment. And you have to do that in them big areas. And that's where Bruno, for me, that's what I love about Bruno. For everything that people try and say about him, this guy could make four bad passes that do not hit the target, go way off. But the fifth one he hits on the money and you get a goal or you get at least a chance out of it. He just needs weapons in front of him. If he's got people that run off the ball and he's in that deep line position, a bit deeper than where he was playing before, he's a problem for anyone because he can put the ball on a sixpence and he will play that ball. At the... um the the sort of positional flexibility that Ten Hag's had, I think, has been has been quite impressive. Though showing how Luke Shaw can play in a different position, Vegas mm. coming deeper, Marcus down the centre. But with Bruno, I get the impression that Bruno being moved around as much as he had, he's played on the left, wasn't a success. Played on the right, probably was a right success. Mm-hmm. Playing him deeper, is this a case of filling in, or is this a case of he doesn't actually know where the best Bruno is yet? I think there's the other parts in the team, the other moving parts aren't as stable 
So he's having to put him around because he knows that he's got the ability to perform in different areas and pick and, and make an impact in different areas. Like you said, on the right hand side, he's produced moments where you go, "Oof, decent." Ain't going to beat anyone, but he's got he's got a range of passing to affect the game. In the midfield, you, he's obvious for him to see that. But yeah, so bringing it bringing it back to Veghorst, you said he offers something different to the strikers. He's the best. He's been the best at holding up play for mm. United as yeah. a striker. He's been the best who, at bringing who, others into the game. Who else? Mm, you didn't say that. Who Who else has played that role? Because for me, if you Rashford's go back... played there? No, or holding up, but it, that's never what he no, does. But what I'm saying, but, but, but what I'm saying, Martial, what he's fit? never fit. Martial? Yeah. He doesn't hold the ball for you. Are you, you mad? Oh my God. You don't watch that, the game then. Well, I'm that's telling you, he not, doesn't... One of, the one, of the, one of the no, best, one of his best attributes is to be able to receive the ball and withstand challenges and bring and, and play other people in. It's probably his best attribute. He's oh, really? Yeah. He's Mr. dribbling. Ballon d'Or. He's I would dribbling. say dribbling. And yeah, I would that's because you watch much of the day. I actually, think, I actually think, yeah, that Man United, <clears> if they had... A, if, if you could get Martial fit, 100% playing every week, right... He would be the perfect fit for the way Eric Ta- Ericsson Hard wants to yeah, play. And there's a reason I play Euro Millions, mate. No, no, but he's, he's just, he just I can't stay fit. You he know what? I, could, I, I couldn't tell you because there's too much. It's night and day with Martial. You don't know what you're going to get. I'm not saying Whether he is. Spent, I'm saying yeah, his I'm, profile of player would be the player that they'd go out and spend the 100 million pounds on the market to get him. If he was going to be, if he had his profile, all his capabilities, and he was fit every week to play. I don't know. I, I honestly, I'm, te- I don't I'm know. telling you, I think I it is. Know. I think I it know. is because he's, he's, he's. I can't he's, even tell you what he really offers you guys anymore. I can't. Only because you haven't seen him play. No, for but a while. when I do see him play, he doesn't offer much. Last time I saw him play was against City. Bruv, my man. It was already six goals we deep. Got bad now. that game. What do you mean? We got bad we got that game. against no at Old, um, at Old Trafford. I don't think he played in that one. He played away. Did he? Did he start? Yeah. I don't even know. It was all exactly. Can't yeah, even remember. So you know, you he's, he's been out all year. He plays one game against City, then he's back injured again. No, and you're judging just, him his entire game on that. Look, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm just saying. He's going to move on saying, anyway. Can yeah, yeah I'm on? just saying when he's fit. But well, I don't even United think it's hard man. I don't want to talk no, about no, no, it. No, 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 no. We ain't finished. We need to talk about the Casemiro incident. What about Right? It? Ten Hag comes out going on as if Casemiro has been hard done by. I'll read out what he says. Casemiro. No, he did. He was talking about the handball. All right, oh, cool. What did he say? He goes, no, he does. He does mention Casemiro. He said the referees influenced the game. Well, and, uh, that was factual. Hand Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait. Handball. No, no, no. Marcus he says, two Cas- two he says, can you explain to me? Because I didn't get this. Casemiro has played over 500 games in Europe. This is Ten Hag, by the way. He never had a red card. And now, what is it? In the space of a few games and 20 games in total in the Premier League, he has two red cards. The refereeing standards have dropped massively. That could be, could be a reason. Uh, what could be a reason? I'm just saying it could be. A I don't think he's adapted. <clears throat> oh my god! So the to first red card was he's not nonsense. adapted to what? He's out here straightening collars and he gets a red card. He's not I, adapted to what? I need to let you finish your sentence <laughs> so you can hang yourself right now. I don't think. Wait, wait, no. I'm re- so. This is on not him. me. Just zoom in. Grandpa, Graham, Grandpa. I'll read what he says. All right. What, what is Grandpa? No, he never played a, a game of football in his don't. life. He's a, he's a referee. Yeah, what do they know? All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me read it out. Go on, carry on. I'll, read it, I'll read it in a second. I used to have a mad ref, like, relationship with refs. I used to uh, cane them really? all game. Give us some examples whilst I search, please. I slapped Bennett once and we celebrating <laughs> a goal. <laughs> I was on top. You know, I used to jump on top of the, 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 the melee when we used to score. I used to be there quick, jump on top of it. And he was going, get down. And I went, Psh, like messing about. And he went, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, and you, know, you have to like, Balance it with laughter and now yeah, yeah, yeah. cheeky chappy. You knew what fun. you were doing, basically. <laughs> I was thinking, right, jog back to the halfway line, thinking, please don't even come and book me or whatever you're gonna do. But yeah. All right. That's so when you can have a laugh with the refs. Casemiro not being targeted, he gives refs no choice. Ex referee Graham Pohl has debunked theories that the forward is targeted. When I was refereeing, I can start as a midfielder, yeah. so let's just what you say? Pull it on the record. Go on. Listen, no you one's don't even debating. know where he plays. Listen, no, 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 Joe, 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 Joe. No one's debating that he was a red card this Why week. Why don't you want me to finish this? Because no, Graham Paul's right. Nonsense. It he's was right. a red card though, right? It was a red card. Yeah, okay, we said cool. that at the beginning. Cool. But you're, you're out here like, he's had two red cards. One of them was bullshit. No, because right? cause what's Ten Hag talking about? That's my whole point here. Ask Ten Hag. I'm not no, Ten Hag. Ask him. I think Ten Hag's trying, he's doing a clop here. He's obviously trying to protect his player. Of course he is. What's the point? Why are you listening to things managers say in press conferences? Because there's always a reason behind oh why they say. Oh my gosh! It. Listen, I know what you two are doing here. You're trying to. You're trying to. You no, know. I've always said this. Every a manager <laughs> owes you nothing, including the truth. Right? When he comes out in a press conference, he could just sit there and go. Blah, 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 right? You know what, what happens? What happens? Whatever is said in the changing room is never, ever, ever. Give said us an example in front of the cameras. Give us an example. 
I can't. I'm trying there to must think. be loads. Yeah. No, there's loads, obviously. Yeah. I can't think of stuff. But if, like, for instance, if we've played bad, how many times has Sir Alex Ferguson come out and go, that referee was a disgrace? Mm. That was his goal too. He never mentioned the referee in a team talk after the game. Really? What would he say? No, he's talking about individuals. You were shit. Mm. You were a disgrace. You ain't playing next week. Hair dryer. All of a sudden, goes to the, to the cameras. Not one player has mentioned mm -hmm. about how bad they were, but the referees today left a lot to be desired. They need to have a look in the mirror. Dis disappointed, isn't it? Yeah. That was his move. You yeah. get, you if they're, if they're a referee that. next week, I'll be surprised. <laughs> like Stuff like that, which deflects completely from the performance of the players. But in-house, <laughs> those players have been put under it, under the microscope. These, yeah, I think Ten Hag's probably ripped a strip off him because he's gone in. For me, the studs was up. If he pokes his toe at it, a bit like Bruno against Betis the other night, if he pokes his toe at it, mm. no problem, right? And if he gets a card for that, no problem. Like, if he pokes away at it, maybe it's a foul, maybe it's a yellow card. But when he goes it's in... A, it's, a striker, it's a striker's tackle, it looked like, wasn't it? Yeah. One of those striker's tackles or a young young. The, the problem young is, player. Rio's right. There's no consistency in refereeing. There's been two challenges, the exact same as that this week, and both before. had nothing. Different outcomes. Yeah. Now, I would question why it got to VAR. Because the referee has dealt with it, he's given it a yellow card. Mm. That's not a clear and obvious error to go, whoa, 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 actually, to check it. let's have a look at that. Why are you checking that? The fact that you checked, that's ri ridiculous to me. Not, I, I thought they only checked for goal-scoring opportunities. I, wanted, I was waiting for, for the evening to kind of watch match of the day and just see the way they dissected it, because I like watching the, sh the show and seeing how they do it. it but obviously, match yeah. of the day went on, didn't get did, put did, on, did, did it. Did you get the chance to speak to anyone? Obviously, I know that you, you talked to Shira, you talked to uh, Gary Lineker. Obviously, as you saw it unfold, was there anything that... Yeah, I text Gary Lineker. Um, Before or the, after? The day, the day I like it how he's out. framing this, like our group didn't just go off with everything. Yeah, that they do. Well. Everyone, everyone's <laughs> WhatsApp group was like ours. It went nuts. <laughs> like, bu -bu 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 -bu. my missus is going, what the hell is going on? Because I said, look, I've got, don't talk to me for a minute. I've got to just go through the, the last hundred texts that just popped through. Joel took his phone off silent thinking he was getting a call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was, um, it was mad because um, I text Gary <laughs> just saying, like, I'm on like, a train night now. What time is that? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it was? I said to Gary, how are we doing? Basically, I said, like, how's everything? Knowing it was a shitstorm, yeah. right? Obviously going crazy in the media. And he was he just come at Gary as Gary always is. Calm, cool, collected. Brushed it off. And then... Well, she, did you text him? Or, or? I texted him, yeah. But Alan Shearer, I've got a voice note. Yeah. <laughs> I, I played the voice note. I left Alan Shearer. This is before he made his decision. So I'm taking full credit for pushing him into making a decision. <laughs> to join, Shearer, to so, join right in Lineker. So Gary Lineker is suspended, I think is what they initially did. And uh, are we going to, should we put the statement on screen of what the yeah. BBC, so the BBC yeah, have apologised. Mm. And this is what I said in our group the other day. I didn't really see a way back because I didn't think the BBC would apologise for this. So I'm, I'm shocked and, and, and happy that they did. But yeah, so the, the, the statement was uh, from the Director General, Tim Davey at the BBC. Everyone recognises that it's been a difficult period for staff, contributors, presenters, and most importantly, our audiences. I apologise for this. The potential confusion caused by the grey areas of BBC's social media guidance that was introduced in 2020 is recognised. I want to get matters resolved and our sport content back on air. So Close prior to, to that, Go on. prior to that, I messaged Dan and Shearer, just saying that obviously Gary Nickers made his stand. Right, he's followed him in. I've just seen a, t a tweet from Righty. Righty just said, listen, I've told the BBC that I'm out. It's, I'm out, not this weekend, not for me. Solidarity with big links. What the f*** is our big Al going to do? What is Shearer going to do? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> and after that, he made his statement that he wasn't going to so no longer going to be on Match of the Day. So obviously down to... He put this on his Instagram or, or Twitter where he put it on, but yeah. So Did he, you congratulate him? Yeah, but there's too many swear words. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, but it, is a, it is a crazy situation. I, I think, think there's a lesson to be learned here, though. I think some Premier League footballers, next time we have a race... Solidarity. Incident, everyone just go, not playing. Deal with that. Forget kneeling, forget any of this stuff. Just go, guess what? Not turning up today. Sort it out. But you know what? It's, it's like my, 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 That's a, a great point mm -hmm. because my generation and generations before me and this generation as well are guilty of it even as well. Incidents happen, different forms of discrimination or whatever is race, etc. These situations keep rearing their head, and it's down to an individual to speak about it or to go against the system or go to go to, to, to fight the situation. When really, like you see in this situation here, the biggest media or one of the biggest media media companies in the world was brought to a standstill, apologised, and, and apologised through a show of solidarity and coming together. 
Now, if that is an indication of how you deal with situations like this, I don't know what is. But it was everyone. Wasn't it? it was Alex Scott. It was Micah Richards. It was the entire BBC It was, it was, it was the Jermaine people Genius. that were on screen, but then there was people behind that. There was layers. Oh, yeah, commentators Commentators, well. yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? So there was a, a radio presenters, like a whole raft of different individuals that went, you know what, guys, I'm going to have to stand with, with, with Gary Lineker and, and all the other guys. And so... When that happens, you just saw the power of that. So that's, I agree, that's a lesson, that's an indication as to how you can combat big situations and really go against the system if you really believe in what in the topic that you're, you're, you're trying to sort out. Yeah, because I saw it, a match of the day was like 15 minutes, no commentary, I didn't know what was going on. Like, I knew there was going to be a change, Loads of MPs pretending it was, that it was the favourite ever episode of mm. Match of the Day and then they went <laughs> to the pub like you had mates to go to the pub with, mate. <laughs> it was mad. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to move it on to probably the biggest game of the weekend. Um, really, really simple. A big, a big, a big London derby. Um, Fulham versus Arsenal. We big. swept them aside in the first half. Big London derby. Rio, <clears throat> I'm going to let you give us praise for this one because uh, I, I wouldn't know, call I know, it, you saw, I know you saw. I wouldn't call it the London derby. Um, it is. The big teams aren't big enough to be called a, a London, like a big London derby. But, but this is happy hunting ground for for you guys, isn't it? Full, full I, I watched you. Full, full are doing pretty well. First day of the, the seasons, and you battered them there as well. So um, history suggested that this was a no-brainer. This game, three points in the bag. But you have to give credit where credit's due. I thought you guys were magnificent. I think the clean sheet's the most important thing for me. You guys getting a clean sheet. I think I saw Arteta's comments after saying that that's what one of the things he was delighted with. But also Trossard. Trossard, I think, has been a masterstroke signing. Oh. Um, we can talk about loads of signings during the season, but I think he's one. Gives you that depth in those areas, the wide areas um, up front, which you needed. You had Martinelli and Saka producing miracles all year, but who was going to come in and affect the, the games if one of those was injured? Three assists. Three assists in a, in, in a half, I think it was. Joe, you know what? You lot are annoying, man. You just so, brought... Wait, wait, wait. He hasn't you finished, man. This is like Gabriel poetry. Back. This is like music to my ears. No. Ha, carry the big, on, and, and, and the big thing, you just God. touching on what I was going to say, the biggest thing for me was if you could start the season, go back and go, at some point in this season, Jesus is going to be out of the team. And when he comes back... You as a, a club, most of the fans are going to go, put him on the bench for a little while because Martinelli's flying, Saka's flying, Trossard's flying, etc. He, he don't need to come in straight away. He ain't got to risk it. And we'd be comfortable with that. You would never have said that. Whereas now, I think this weekend, you were sitting there going, I don't even think he should really play. We've been doing so well. And it proves it. The forward line you put in, Martinelli goes inside up front, Trossard on the left and then... It was beautiful. Saka on the right. It could have been. It could have been five now at half time. Yeah. Xhaka had a chance. Saka puts in a beautiful ball. Honestly, did like, you know Trossard before he came to Arsenal? I did. Oh. Remember, we spoke about it a couple times at Brian. Obviously, he was doing his thing, but I'll be honest with you. I didn't think it would be this good. It will be a lie if I turn around and I go, "Oh yeah." So Only Saka so and De Bruyne have so, so more assists it. this season than him. <clears throat> Is it? Yeah. That's Only a, Saka and De Bruyne have more assists. Did you think he would hit these levels when he came to Arsenal? He was the one player at, at Brighton who I was surprised hadn't gone earlier. Okay. Because I've all, every time I watch him, and I think he does something in a game, Belgian international. When I always think he's got. We were talking about wide players not taking risks a minute ago. This guy takes risks. He'll get it. He'll give it. He'll play one twos. He can dribble, and he can see a pass. And evidently at the weekend, three assists for first player in Premier League history to make a trick of assists uh, in the first half of, the, of an away game. So. He is doing everything and more mm -hmm. of what Arteta would have wanted from him as a new signer in the halfway stage of the season. Massive impact. I just want to talk about party for a second before Steve comes in. What a performance, man. Like, I was talking to Jai. It's up against Andreas Pereira, man. Yeah, well, it's not. You can only beat who's in front of you. Party. We talk about the importance that Casemiro has for Man United. Why do you have to mention no, Casemiro because, every because time you mention Party? Because we've been doing this thing, so I'm just carrying it on. Right, Probably. and honestly, you look at party, and if we win the league this year, which we will, <laughs> <laughs> this guy, you, you, you have clip. to put him. Oh, you we have twenty minutes of have place. to put him in the best team, like team of the year, because ahead of Casemiro, if he wins the league, I think it's only fair. We were speaking off camera earlier on, and the impact he has, man. If if United had signed him. You guys would have been on on the ascendancy a long time. So do you think man. if United had signed him, mm. the beginning of this season, it'd have had bigger impact for Man United than what Casemiro's had? 
I wouldn't say beginning of the season, no. I think if you had signed him a couple of seasons ago, um, it, 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 it would have I rate, rate part, part Big player. I mean, if Big you go player. back to some clips that we had here, I've done clips here before he went to Arsenal even, yeah. where I was saying Man United should buy Partey. Yeah. So I, I genuinely believe he's a top player. We've needed a six for a minute. But Top, top yeah. player. Uh, my, my, when you keep mentioning Casemiro and him, I just don't think it's fair on him. It's not. This season? This season yeah, but this is all I've been talking about. No, no, no. I've been no, talking no. about this season. No, no. You guys have taken the argument no, no, no. and twisted it as if I think like, we know who Casemiro is. He's playing he's the that team. gets sent off every week. He's a, he's a guy. About... He's playing the top of the league team. Team is potentially going to win the league. Integral to that team. Win the league. So he's, he's going to be in a shake-up for being in the team of the year, 100%. Stay going. I'll, I'll let you talk about Arsenal. Yeah, when the alerts came in. I was wounded. <laughs> the alerts. What did you say before? What did you say the night before? They're not beating you. You said, oh, oh you're not beating them. Oh, pal. Oh, yeah, I think you're, you're not going to win tomorrow. It's going to be hard. I could see a draw or a loss for Arsenal. All right, yeah. Yeah, all right. Smack right. them. Yeah. 3 0. I can't wait till you lot chew this up. You're going to be waiting I, I'm not, a I long time for me, nothing, be bro. I'm going on that parade with the City fans. <laughs> No, you really really like don't stop saying that, man. Stop saying that. <laughs> Did you see the game, though? Did you even watch? Because it was on the same time as the United no, was game, innit? Okay. Well, there you go. watching the alerts going. Ugh. There you go. Class apart headline. Rio Ferdinand frustrated May United didn't sign Arsenal new boy Thomas Party despite calling for, trans for the transfer last season. Wow. Anyone need a head of recruitment? I'm there. <laughs> There you well, go. There I, know, you go. I know my players. All right, cool. So let's move it on now. Um, looks like Chelsea are back to winning ways. Yeah, three wins in a, in a week. Yeah. It's mad how it turns. The pendulum can swing, isn't it? Everyone was saying, Potter out, get him out. Again, if it was down <laughs> to someone like my guy over there, Potter would have been gone. There was, there was never going to be bad for Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, Steve. What? Where the hell is my laptop? Oh, we've done great this question. Man. Where's my laptop? No, he did a brilliant little skit. Yeah. Well shot, well edited, all the rest of that. Great YouTube clip. Yeah, you probably should have spent that money that you've bent to edit that on a laptop. Where's my laptop? <laughs> we had a bet. Guys, we had a bet. I want people Let's in the comments, yeah, but who saw and witnessed that, but we had a bet. He said the potter would be sacked by when? Oh, January. The end of, like the 1st of February. And I tried to bail him out and go, give you the end of the season. Yeah. And I said, no, they I reckon he sees spend, the whole season out. He just let him spend like a billion. And I went, what do you want to bet on that? And he, he said... Uh, no, you I said yeah, laptop. I said, I said, what do you want to bet on it? And he said, I don't know. I said, right, give me... Uh, I need a laptop. <laughs> Let's do a laptop. He said, yeah, shook on it. And, I got, and, I, and I got you a laptop. So you got me a, like, a skit-inspired a, a, laptop a that didn't work from 1985. <laughs> It was an ample. Ample. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need an up-to-date working one. You got, you do all these deals and these like partnerships with all these guys. Just come on. I want it on the back of one of them. It's funny because you know I actually spoke to the guy from Apple. He goes, this is me. I was I, dead serious. I said, oh, what can I do with this laptop thing? He goes, oh, we can get him a discount. I'm like, you're taking a bit, mate. This is real. <laughs> Apple needs to come correct. Okay. Said, Not even joking. He said a percentage. I was thinking, you need to go and make some calls. Anyway, are you one of those guys? So we just confirmed uh, that you're one of those guys that makes bets but doesn't keep to the that's bets. That's not true because I got you a laptop. <laughs> I said I didn't say ample. No charger. You didn't. There's not really a laptop, anyway, is it? Really, guys. It's like a dummy didn't one. even get a guarantee with it. Can we talk about Chilwell celebration against Leicester? Yeah, I they boo it, him. You know? They boo him. I went. I watched the game last uh, last year there, and they got fifty odd million for this kid, a left back, right? Out of COVID, mm. and they're booing him. Like they got more than they probably should have got for him. He done a great job there, part of the league winning team, and they're booing him for going Chelsea. Like it doesn't make sense. So good, I'm glad he done that. Give I him love a bit that back. Celebration. Give him I a bit back. It. They deserved it. it. Yeah. Should they should respect him. Chelsea get a striker in. <laughs> I think we've said this for about four years. No, like, no. but if Chelsea get a striker in, they could be a problem. I reckon Chelsea this summer go for Osimhen. I, I, Harry Kane? I wouldn't disagree. Harry Kane. No, he, no, they, 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 they're him. not yeah. going for Harry Kane. I think Osman goes there. I uh, think Harry Kane uh, can't uh, go Chelsea from Spurs. Nah, yeah, that's not happening. Nah, that's not happening. No chance. No way. Havertz, Havertz is back on the scoring yeah. sheet though. He is getting a couple He's goals. He's played well a, this week. Yeah, that was a good setup from Enzo, by yeah. the way. The little Ooh, scoop. Lovely. It was, it was lovely stuff. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. Uh, He's a player. I told you about him before he even left Argentina. Who? Enzo. We, we know. We know. Well done. Well done. He's doing really well. Well done. Just to go back to that. Harry Kane, obviously, who scored again at the weekend, um, really nice header, but and they beat, beat Nottingham Forest 3-1. Mm. Where does he go? Does he go? Does he stay? 
Do you stay or should I go? Remember that song? Do you think? Do you stay or go? I don't or see Madrid. He, well, where does he go? I don't see Madrid or Barcelona going for him. I don't think Bayern wastes that sort of cash on the age he is. He's only, has he only got 12 months? I think so, He's yeah. approaching After 12 months. The thing is, you don't want to go and get in a room with Daniel Levy and try and negotiate for him, dear, because he just starts throwing numbers around. I, I, reckon, well. I reckon you know he's going United. I know. I, I, I reckon you, because the I way... I don't think Man United know. I reckon you're pushing <laughs> this. I don't know. I, no. I, I saw <laughs> you. I saw you speaking on the weekend, and I just thought yeah. there's an agenda here. No. Rio's got an agenda. I don't. I swear to like, you. You do. I would love to be able to sit here and say I know that Harry Kane's going to Man United because that would guarantee Man United 25 probably. Maybe I more think goals you're trying to. to I think years. you're. I think you know what you're doing as a former player. You know Harry Kane's going to see you speaking about him, and I reckon you're Harry dropping. Harry Kane watches the show. Exactly, and I reckon you're just dropping. Thoughts and ideas. I heard what well, you said the way the I positioned it the other day on BT was like this: was like, if you play football when you start as a kid, what's your main goal? To win trophies. To win trophies. That doesn't change as you get older. You want to win trophies if you can. Obviously, not everyone has the opportunity because they don't play at the right clubs. Then you start changing your your goals for the season. We want to stay up. We want to. He's at Spurs who want to win trophies. They can't. They don't. They're going backwards. Right? They're going, they're going backwards. Since the Champions League final, they've gone backwards mm -hmm. in terms of the way that they're playing, right? And closeness to winning things. They're, not, they're nowhere near it. But you have to ask him the question. That's the question that we need answering from him. So, Harry, when you want to do it, there's a, there's a seat gonna here for you. He's not going to be honest. He can't be honest. No, 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 this is what I'm saying. Let me get to the point. That's what I mean. That's You're being I, Agent Rio here. No, no, no. What I'm saying is like, tell us, man. I want to stay at Spurs. I want to be a one club man and I'm going to have a statue outside. It's that's me. I'm Mr. Spurs. We all go, you know what? Well played. That's fine. Right? But there's well, we a know chance. it's not true. But there's a chance to come. To go yeah, that's exactly. But there's a chance to come here now to Man United if he wants to come. I, I'm think, sure he goes, I think he goes United in the summer. I really do. I think he goes. I think he I would, does. I would, I would love him in the to. Eye. I would love him to. But I just think it's the... The problem you've got is Levy. What price is he going to ask for? Oh, What's you're going to pay money. Left? There's no question. But I reckon Harry Kane is worth what they're going to try and charge you. <sighs> Don't know. I think he is. I think if he finishes if he finishes career, Steve, say you're a forward. If you finish your career and you've won, you take the Premier League goal scoring record. You win that. Take it off Shearer, all time goal scoring record for England and Spurs. No trophies next to your name. Are you sitting there in your rocking chair? in 10 years' time after your career's finished and going, you know what? Ugh, unreal. What a career. And are you thought of in the same way that a Wayne Rooney? He hasn't even won an FA Cup. Are you thought of in the same way that even somebody like, who else? Like a drug bar? Yeah. Because he's that calibre of a player, like in terms of, like he's one of the best we've ever 100%. seen. 100%. He's yeah. one of the best that we've seen. But then there's a way that you think about people that win, that, that takes them to another level. It's different. It's different. And does he want that? Yeah. That's the question I have for a for Perfect Kane. example on or this or that, which is coming out on Wednesday this week, we spoke about Modric and all of a sudden we're putting him above all these players and it's because he's gone out there yeah. and he's won trophies. It's when you used to ask me about Wayne Rooney or Harry Kane. Yeah. I'm going Wayne Rooney because you know, Wayne Rooney, there's a lot of similarities in their game. They're great players, both of them. And you're probably splitting hairs who's the best, right? I'd go for Wayne Rooney, right? Because I played. To that level. I think that I think there's a, a way you could say like Kane. In terms I of think goal scoring, in terms of goal scoring yeah. would be a better would be a better player in that sense. I'd put, if there was a chance falling, I'd probably go Kane. Ooh. But right? if you'd have played Wayne Rooney in a team that was he was the striker, he he replicates what Kane. Does. But I, I think Wayne's I think Wayne's a better all round player, yeah. But the definitive part of the conversation, Wayne yeah. was part of a team that won, and he yeah. was integral in that team, and that just goes bang elevation. Yeah. yeah. If Harry, that's where I think Harry's lacks in that sense. Hundred percent. I'm with you. Hundred percent on that. To be honest. Signing Kane. What? Are we signing Kane? If I was at the club, mm. I'd make it my goal yeah, to but, sign Harry Kane. Yeah, but you're close with the club. But I'm not employed by the club. You're an external freelance. <laughs> <laughs> Why grab that phone? Good. Uh, <laughs> search for Harry Kane's number. All right. Cool. Let's move it on because um, we've got to wrap it up soon. Hate this. Bournemouth versus oh, Liverpool. Oh, Liverpool fans, talk to me, please, now. Come, My mates it's on the WhatsApp group, all <laughs> Liverpool fans. Where's the cherry the coke? Yeah, exactly. The cherries, up the cherries. Liberty, seriously. They had the cup final last week. That's all they're winning. They're winning the We Beat United trophy this year. That is a small club mentality. It is. Isn't it? Yep. That, that screams small club. You guys and should be ashamed of yourself. It does. Look Rumbled. at you. Screaming it's and celebrating when they beat United. Yeah, the way they did. They battered us. Hands so up. They got three points for that. 
And then boom, I've got three points for that. Well done. Goal difference, mate. Goal difference. Mate. It's not going to matter when Absolutely I finish. Absolutely battered. Uh, what are you going to finish? The goal difference is going to yeah, be, make the difference in Europa Conference and Europa League. Yeah, well done. The way that Salah missed the penalty as well within 20 minutes remaining. The way, they were, the way they were trying to antagonise the guys and then their team goes and does that at the weekend. Should be ashamed of themselves. Salah misses the pen. Bournemouth climb to 16th. Liverpool State 5th. That's the thing about the Premier League. Liverpool like, just, ain't finishing in Champions League, I don't think. You don't, you don't think they're getting it? No. Nah. So behind the camera, we've just been asked, if you're Roy Keane, what are you sending Graeme Souness as a voice note? I don't think Graeme Souness deals in voice notes. No, I don't think he's got a WhatsApp. <laughs> I reckon he's still on a flip phone. Yeah, I think he's got a, a, he's got a, a Motorola flip <laughs> and he's still on like one-to-one. No, 0956 number. <laughs> oh, mate. No. What's funny is he won't know what you're talking about no, as well. No, no. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, they play Real Madrid next. Oh. Slapovich. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to get at slapped. Anfield. It's not no, Anfield. It was already, it's not they already got away. absolutely yeah, about. turned over at Anfield. They're going to get hurt. I don't know. Right. Madrid ain't in great form, by the way. But Champions League music comes on. Different Real Madrid it's come true. It's true. It's true. So, um, all right, moving it on. Crystal Palace. Oh, no, we're not moving it on. Oh, we need on, to talk Steve. about the absolute disgrace of a <laughs> defensive performance that we've seen from someone that I've seen as the best centre after Premier League scene. He give up. Do all the talk last week about Bruno Fernandes, oh, we give up, oh, we give up, he has to be sub. All of that bollocks that we saw last weekend. <laughs> I was waiting And then this. we saw Van Dyke have someone get about a yard in front of him and go, that's me clocked out. Oh, nothing to say? Nothing to say? <laughs> no, no, well, I, I, I saw I, it. I, I saw it. I think he's, he's just having a bad season, personally. There's no excuse to give up. There is no excuse to give up, you're right. But did he really give up, give up? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Watch it there now and see. Don't you think he was like... Oh, it's bad. It's so bad. I laughed when I saw it. I was like, oh my God, look at this. He got pushed around. Then I rewound it and watched how bad Trent's positioning was and I, and I enjoyed that. Why do you enjoy that? Cause I just... Why do you enjoy to see an England player? He's not an England player. What is he now? He doesn't get picked for England. He gets in the squad, doesn't he? Yeah, he was injured Does last he time. He was injured last time. Was he, he was. He wasn't getting picked. Was he though? <laughs> anyway... Let's we all on. know let's, let's, Gareth Southgate's not picking him. Let's move on. on. Crystal Palace. Oh, you just seen it, have you? Crystal Palace narrowly lose to Man City 1-0. Oh. Do you know how dirty I feel watching them games open City win? Yeah, I know. That's what I think as well. I feel horrible. I look at myself <laughs> and go, what have you come to here? Did you hear me in the, <laughs> did you hear me in the group though? I oh. was waiting for it, man. I thought, but to be fair... I like, thought they weren't going to score, you know? Because he yeah. missed that it chance, was, didn't he? He, mixed, he missed that big chance. Oh, yeah, Alvarez. He's got to play more minutes. But he missed a big chance, Harlan, in the first half of about 30 minutes. Sitting but there watching City score like that. D- does he still get... <laughs> <laughs> it's hanging. You're seeing this. That's City's... how much I don't wait, like wait, Arsenal. But, but City scored, I'm going... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, do, you reckon, sad. do you reckon he gets PFA if, he, um, if they win the league? Or regardless, let's just Who? say. Harlan. No, because uh, it's recency bias, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. One point four goals before the World Cup. Yeah, afterwards game. you don't get zero point six goals, which isn't bad still. Yeah, but but, you, but the only thing is, is no one really, really outstanding. Who who's don't, smashing don't ask it? Him that. Who's smashing it? You've got a, your team. The goals are spread. Three players above ten goals. goals. I think Odegaard's in with a shout. I think Odegaard's in with a shout. Yeah, Odegaard's got a shout. Why is Saka not in with the same shout? Saka, oh, Saka for me where he would be in Saka would be in the shout he's in the mix would I reckon you say Saka's top three would you say Odegaard's been better than Saka yeah I think influential in the team good. the way the, the, the rhythm of the game a lot of the time goes through him I agree I think you could I swap agree. Saka out for one of your other forwards and you wouldn't see too much of a drop off I think you take Odegaard yeah, out of that yeah, team and crumble party no <laughs> this is an honest question no okay Do you want an honest answer I think, I think, think party is probably third okay maybe or third or fourth with Saliba Saliba, I, think Saliba. Saliba. I think keepers had a, a, a just as good a shout. I think as a, as the city, mm, he was a bit dodgy. I, I think did you see I him? think Odegaard, Saka. I think Odegaard, Saka, and um, Party. I think Saliba's party, been good. Yeah. And Saliba I think Saliba's then. dropped you, you off. You can't talk about Saliba in any of the team of the years. He's he's done all right, but you can't. No, the way you started think, the season, though, he should have won Ballon d'Or by now. I think. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you went overboard. Harlan, you did go overboard. I think it's just the best. He, did. I no, think it's he just didn't the best. start the season like Haaland. So emotional, wasn't he? I think. I He's think. So emotional. Emotional fans, isn't it? I think it was neck and neck. With who? Um, Haaland and Partey. 
who? I didn't say that. What did you say? <laughs> I didn't did say that. Connect no, with who? Saliba. Haaland and Saliba, I think. Haaland and Saliba, when he started the season, is the same. <laughs> That's the maddest Arsenal take I've ever heard. I think, I think. And there's so much competition for mad Arsenal take. I think. Can we finish the show now? I think, yeah, we're, 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 Saliba we're started running. the season like Haaland. Haaland set fire to the Premier League. And what, Saliba didn't? No. He no. did. He really no, did. He did for you. He really did. He really did. He really did. I didn't. I the think, I so think in years to come, we look at the start of the season and we go, oh, that's the best start of the season. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. I think we do. Get the show. Get us off I the think, show now. We need to start uh, drug testing on this show. Oh, this no. All right, Villa 1, West Ham 1. Um, West Ham in relegation zone, man. Killing me. Yeah, Leeds 2, Brighton 2. Your mate, your mate from uh, Warner Music, Tony. Mm. He, he came to the Rio Ferdinand Foundation event and then... Um, after we three guys, I've got to go to He's the a massive Leeds, Leeds fan, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> he goes yeah, yeah, to yeah. the Leeds match. Massive Leeds. Um, don't move on yet. Brighton, the way Brighton play out, oh, I absolutely I love. love. The, I don't know what the triggers are for whatever they're doing, but the it's poetic. Do you know what we're going to get? I'm going to get Adam Lallana and maybe Welbeck together, maybe. Yes. Or at least definitely Adam, Adam Lallana to come on and explain what this guy's doing. Because what he's doing there, the way that this team is showing up to big places, beating teams, smoking teams... Like, it's not like they're just winning and scraping games. They're, they're actually putting teams to the sword, butchering teams with movement, cohesion, rotations. The, the playing out is, it's, is, it's is as good as I've ever seen a team play out. They are so in control. Mm. And when you look on paper, that team on paper should not year. have the ability to play out the way it does, which tells me that it's coaching. Yeah, and, and a big part of it is we were sitting here going, I wonder what... Brighton are going to do next season. Now they've lost Potter. Oh my God, they were going to be in dire straits. <laughs> this guy <laughs> has took them to another level. And, and the, the reason why I wanted to get the guys from Brighton to come on because I was at the training ground and spoke to Adam Lallana and, and Danny Welbeck and what I got from them, I need to see here because mm. it's like, I ain't really seen players talk about a manager like that. Really? Mate, it was... And they've like been he, coached by some decent Yeah, and he's doing, he's doing well. it. And it's just the impact this guy's had. Phenomenal. And I, I wonder if you've not seen it. the way they play out, you need to go and watch it because I'm trying to work it out because I want to copy it, right? They, I don't know if it's the way the fullbacks. What are you laughing at? I want to copy it. I want to copy pull, it. Pull yeah. straight for Paddock. Yeah, don't worry about that. We play out nice, but Brighton do oh, next different. shit. Next shit. Everton won Brentford nil. Great result for Dyche. Looks like it's weird because uh, now I want to say it looks like they're staying up. It's, but it's, it's so yo yo ish. They, they, like, they, they, the they could put the table with League There's about eight teams down there that can it's go down. Mad. So crazy. tight. Can't pick it. And Newcastle uh, back to winning ways. 2 yeah. 1 against Wolves. Yep. Almiron. Yeah. Lovely goal. It, it's Great tight. Finish. It's going to be tight. You know, third, fourth, fifth is going to be very, very, very tight between Newcastle, Spurs, and Liverpool. Uh, well, and United. Uh, I think you know, we, we're not certainties for third because of the, the couple I of points that we've dropped off. Okay. We are. We are. I think, I think we'll be okay, okay but. We've seen once you lose a, a player or two, you know, Spurs have been garbage this year. And they're still fourth. And they're, they're like two points off us. It's unreal. Ridiculous. So like I wouldn't I'm not counting no unlike him. Oh, we're definitely winning the league. We are. Let's see. Anyway. I'm like I, I think it's iffy. I think you've got United need to put together a, a good solid block of like four or five straight. United have got some good games coming up though. Yeah, but you you're also missing Casemiro. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Vibe with five. <laughs> Oh man, I love this show. You know. I really do. Do you? This season's you been brilliant. You only love it because you're top of the league. You used to Facts. ask, you used to say, listen, I don't know how I can do this show. Yeah. You know. Do you know Facts. how bad it's going to be for him if they don't win the league? I think Steve, Arsenal win the I'm league. Going I'm going to do it now. 11 games special. left, man. Arsenal win the league by four, yeah, five points. Yeah, there's 11 points, games points, last, points. left and you've got Pep City breathing down your neck. They You're got in the Europa run. League. City got an easy run next few games. And you know what? And that's, you know what? You only need I to can draw. See they got Liverpool at home. You draw two or three games and it's over. Southampton away, Leicester at home. You'll be surprised. It'll be like the South That's Africa nine points. They drop That's points. nine points for... Oh, you will. Nah, we'll who you got right next now. three games? Uh, I know we got... Uh, who we got? Palace at home? You get beat there. Oh, I allow it, man. Big Vieira comes back to take the points off and stop you winning. Yeah. We've got a video with Vieira name. coming out this oh. week, by the you way. You've got Palace at home, Leeds at home, Liverpool away. If you get three points out of that lot, you've done well. It don't matter what you say. It, it, it doesn't bother me anymore. Like you guys have been doing this all season. And Just saying, I don't yeah, want a reaction. And you've been doing this all season. All right, cool. And all that matters is where you are. Thank on you game very much for watching. Vibe That's with five. It. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. We will be back soon. Peace.